Hi, I'm Haley J. Madison. And I'm Allison Egan. And we're from Her Name Was Torment 2. And you're watching Mr. Tony of the Dead. Hey everybody, what's going on? Mr. Tony of the Dead here, and I have another movie review for everybody out there. This one's on a movie called The Forbidden Photos of a Lady Above Suspicion. This is from Arrow Video USA, and it's a film by Luciano Ercoli. This movie follows Minu, who has an encounter with this man who you think is going to rape and kill her, but instead he lets her go. But before he lets her go, he says that her husband is a murderer. So now she thinks that her husband is a murderer. She suspects him. At first she doesn't really, but then things start to happen, and she kind of thinks that he is. And she's trying to keep the, this guy quiet because he keeps coming back. For more and he wants things off of her so she's trying to keep him quiet trying to do all the things that he's asking her to do so she's trying to do everything he wants and she's trying to keep her sanity at the same time this movie came out in 1970 and this is actually a first time watch for me i've never heard of this movie before i always like to see a new giallo this is a different type of giallo it's a uh, as they put it here a, a melodrama giallo or gialli um you know it's it's not a uh really a who did it kind of thing you know where it's like there's a murder and you don't know who it is until the end uh you, you you know what's going on the whole time like you know she's being blackmailed she's not really being blackmailed her husband's kind of being blackmailed and uh she's just kind of keeping him quiet of going along with it but uh you know because she's a good wife and uh you know it's uh it's it's different than it than any other kind of Jalo, so it's it's in that that realm, but it's not like your typical Jalo. There's a lot of familiar faces in this as well. People that I've seen, you know, before I've seen this movie, obviously, uh, like uh, the the lady who plays Manu, uh, you know, and I'm not gonna try to pronounce their names. It's Italian, and you know, you know, you see the trailer, look up at IMDb, you can see their names. But uh, she was like, you know, in uh, like a uh, the black cat which i've seen and you know she does a terrific job and then uh of course the other lady that plays her friend dominique was in uh death walks at midnight i didn't want to get that i always mix that up like death walks at midnight and then like uh the red queen kills seven or something like that it's like i think there's a box set for that i, I believe i reviewed that and uh you know she I, I i don't know if she's in that but i know that's part of it but uh she she's gorgeous and she plays a fantastic job as well uh you know everybody have played their part well in this and um everybody's kind of suspicious you know which is how usually these things go um you even kind of think like is she crazy is she not crazy so you don't really find out until the end is she really crazy or not and it's a, it's really kind of a roller coaster roller coaster i didn't say rolly roller coaster kind of ride throughout this whole movie the picture actually looks pretty decent i thought um i wasn't blown away by the movie to be honest um I, again i thought it looked nice sounded nice you get the uh you know you could either watch the italian version or you could watch the american version and i watched the american version and i watched captions and the captions were fine as well. Like I say, I always watch it with captions. And, uh, you know, everything seemed fine to me. Everything looked good. And, uh, you know, I, I liked the movie. I did I did enjoy the movie. Um, again, I always... I never really watched these type of movies before. And, uh, you know, every time I sit down and watch it, it's, it's pretty good. But I, for me, when I watch it, I don't really want to watch it again because, you know... I know what happens unless there's like wait a minute did I miss something there you know but I don't feel like I missed anything so I don't really want to go back and watch it again for me I don't think it has a rewatchability but you know maybe there's things that you didn't catch but really I don't think there's anything that I didn't catch you know the first time watching this because you know I paid attention pretty good and it's just uh, pretty straightforward and there's not a lot of, there's not a whole ton of twists and turns in this and uh, there's some but not a whole ton it's easy to to keep track of it's easy to usually in these kind of movies it's for me anyway it's kind of hard at times to keep track of who's who or who they're talking about and especially in like uh you know like 
Japanese movies where you watch like the gangster movies like that, it's really hard to know who the fuck they're talking about. Like I sometimes I I have no clue. But this was really easy. You know, there's really not a whole lot of people thrown into the mix. There's like a detective and you know there's like the the husband and then his friend who works with him and then there's Minou and then her friend Dominique and you know the 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 uh, they call him villain on a, when it comes up for when he's talking it says villain <laughs> which I I don't know why I found that kind of funny but it there's not a whole like there's people but there's not a whole ton of people that you you get lost in who's that who said that who are they talking about it so it that's another reason why it's like uh, easy to pay attention to which is nice another thing with this and usually when you see in Jalos there's like the body count and or a dead body this one has the dead body but you don't even see it you don't you just hear about it uh, you and usually there's like the very grotesque looking like like um, the girl with the p p the pajama girl, girl case I believe the pajama girl case that's what's called like it's a very hideous disgusting looking scene and there's no kind of scene like that in this and it's kind of like they went away from it's like it gone, has gone away from that um you know instead and went to more of the psychological more of a thriller kind of movie so with all that being said yeah i did like this movie i enjoy it and uh I don't think I'd watch this again. I, I'm the more I'm talking about it, I'm thinking like you know maybe it wouldn't be that bad watching it again. But to put it in again anytime soon, probably not. But if it was on TV or if somebody had it on, and I'd be like oh, I'd watch it. But I don't know if I'd really be in the mood to to watch this. Plus, there's so many of these type of movies out there. Uh, unless you've already seen this before and it's like your favorite, and you and you have watched it a bunch of times. For me, I I think I I would move on to another one and see what else is out there because these are you know there's a lot of these type of movies out there and this is but it's nice to see a different type of giallo I, I like to say it's more of a calm down one it's a different type and I, I like that you know I, I appreciate that I, I'm getting to see more different types and uh, you know I used to think oh another giallo or not but I dig them I, I really like them so now I'm going to show you the cover and the inside and everything and we'll talk a little bit about that so here we go and here you have the newly commissioned artwork by the twins of evil they do a lot of our artwork for arrow video and uh, you know they always do some some colors there's always a, a few colors I mean there's probably a bunch of different colors there but to me it's like it's red and purple and you know some white and some pink but there's probably tons of other colors that I'm not seeing you know shades but like I, I kind of dig this I think it ha ha kind of adds to the it kind of catches the moment of the movie you know it's not bad fonts pretty good not bad I do like the the side font it's not bad I, I like that it's stretched across you know and then you have the original artwork here which of course here we go it's le photo Prohibite <laughs> di una signora per bene. And that's probably totally wrong. I think I said it better to myself the other day. But that cover is not really that great, to be honest. I mean, it's bright, but I, it doesn't really tell me anything. I mean, if I spoke Italian, it probably would maybe... I'd know the at least what it's saying, but... You know, there you go, you got that. But I think the winner for me this time is definitely the Twins of Evil artwork. And here you have the special edition contents on here. Not a ton of contents, to be honest, but there are some. There's an interview uh, from 2016, and, you know, there's a few on there, but if you want to pause it now, you can check it out. There's a two, new, brand new 2K restoration, all that. And, like I said, the captions are good, so if you want to pause it, check that out now you may and then on the inside here you have a book and then you have the blu-ray there is no dvd just the blu-ray and it is region a and here like i said you have the booklet it's a pretty nice cover i like the new artwork like i said and here you have the contents and then you know cast and crew some stories here about the maniac he did a good job He's, he has like a very kind of scary face and then uh you know just some pictures and 
you know, you know stuff like that about the restoration production crash special thanks and there is the back so yeah I'm very satisfied with this release I say definitely pick it up if you're in the mood for a giallo type of movie it's definitely like I said not your typical uh, not very bloody or anything some adult situations in it you know there's talk of sex there is some sexual situations <laughs> but uh you know there's that it's Italian what do you want and uh, you know the women in it are, are gorgeous uh, you know just absolutely beautiful women and uh, it's always like I'm gonna try her name I don't know how to say it but Na Naives Navarro I don't know aka Susan Scott who is her friend Dominique in this who was also in um, Death Walks at Midnight other things too but like she is absolutely beautiful she's very good looking nowadays even though she's like you know probably like 70 some years old but she she kind of reminds you of uh, Meryl Streep in The Devil Wears Prada in the interview in this she kind of looks like that but uh, she is gorgeous I don't know what it is with redheads too it seems like they're in Italian giallo movies there's a lot of redheads I don't know if that was a thing back then like it was like more rare like uh, like oh look there's a redhead on the screen I mean redheads are kind of rare you know it's a uh, and I believe that's true because you know you see blondes and brunettes all over the place but you don't see a lot of redheads and maybe that's why they have so many redheads in a Italian movie maybe it represents spaghetti sauce I don't know I'm Italian I can say this stuff okay I'm, I'm getting off off subject here but yeah definitely a, a pretty good release uh, I definitely like it uh, it would have been nice to see some more special features it's always nice to see that if you're into that I know a lot of people are uh, but yeah I would have liked to see more but uh so that's it so uh, if you're interested in checking this out if you want to buy it I'll put a link below in the description box you can check it out also I'll put a trailer below watch with caution I there may be spoilers also, check out the other links in the description box. You can go check out other places for me. Give this video a thumbs up. Hit the subscribe button. And that's it. Thanks, everybody, for watching. And I'll talk to you later. Bye.